hello everyone welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to model a classic stone baluster for a railing for this balcony let's start with creating a new family in baluster first of all press un and set your unit to meters and put rounding on two decimal places first of all i'm going to create some reference lines in this part and also in here just to set the top and base of this baluster for this part i think we need four centimeter and for the base i think eight centimeter could be good also i need to create some other reference plans in this part and also in here these are for controlling the object the model in these two parts and of course i'm going to use this dimension to make them equal like this and also for this part and create another one for seeing the number for this part i think 16 centimeter is enough but in this top part i think we might need a little bit less than that so probably 10 or even less than this now i'm going to go to create and use this extrusion on left view and i'm going to first of all select this line i'm going to use this bolster for railing but if you model it this way you can use it for stairs too so lock it i'm going to use this pick line for adding some other lines in this part and after that i'm going to trim them all together now we can hit finish since this is 16 centimeter we can use the same number half of this number for the extrusion i'm going to put this part in 8 centimeter and the extrusion star should be minus 8 centimeter just to have a square like this for the base of our baluster now we are going to do the same for this part so i'm going to simply create a new extrusion in left view and then i'm going to use this pick line and after that i will pick all of these lines and don't forget to lock them again like this and trim all of them together perfect and for the extrusion for this part i'm going to use only five centimeter for the center we are going to use this revolve since it's a classic we can add as much detail as we want first of all draw your axis exactly on this line with boundary line i'm going to first create a seven centimeter line in here and after that i'm going to add some other details and i will use all of these tools for it you can use this sp line you can use fillet with this start end radius or also if you want you can use ellipse it depends on your design and the shape that you want for your baluster And after that we are going to close it like this now hit finish and let's see how it looks in 3d view okay it's a little bit fat but it's good for now if you want you can just simply go to edit and move these parts closer to the center now load it into the project and go to first level click on this railing and select a sketch pass now we are going to simply use this line for drawing the path of our railing i want it first from this part to here and after that we are going to draw it for these two parts so i'm going to draw my line in here exactly if we look at it from 3d view we will have something like this select the railing and go to its edit type first of all we are going to duplicate it and change its name to classic railing now i want to change the height to 90 centimeter for this we are going to change the height of this top railing i'm going to put it on 90 and for changing the baluster we need to go to this baluster placement 
in this part in this main pattern we need to go to this part and select the poluster that we had created we didn't save it and we just simply load it to here so we don't have any special name for it apply and okay perfect in this part we have two other balusters in here these are for the start and end balusters so if you don't want to see them you just need to change this part to none you can see this start post and in this part we have this end post we don't have any corner or cuts in this part so we don't need this corner post as well okay okay you see we have this extra part in here this is about the justification of this railing so if you want to change it you need to go to bolster placement again and change this justify to center for example also if you want to change the distance between them you can change it from this part in here okay since we change it to the center we have this problem in both sides of this railing for fixing it it's better to go to edit pass and change the pass and make it a little bit smaller so i'm going to change it to 24 and okay much better before we fix this top rail to this column i want to change the profile of the rail too so for this we need to create a new family in profile rail this is the center line of the profile and this part is the top of the rail so we are going to model our profile under this line in here for this first of all i'm going to create two reference plans and one in this part and don't forget to set your unit okay now i'm going to make these two parts equal and create another dimension for it to see the size for this part i think five centimeter could be good and for the top part since the top of our baluster was in 10 centimeter i want this rail to be a little bit bigger than that so any number over 10 centimeter is good now we need to go to create and use this line in this part i'm going to start from here to here and continue adding details as we did for the bolster i will delete this part and use this start and dark like this for here and also i'm going to fillet this part and also here now let's select it and mirror it to the other side don't forget to trim the line with these two fillets now we can load it into the project let's go to 3d view and select the railing go to edit type and click on this type part in here from this profile section if you click on it you can find the family that we had created now let's apply to see how it looks perfect for filling this gap in here first of all you need to know the size of the gap so you need to go to one of these elevations and measure the size of this part let's use some detail line from this point to here it's 95 centimeter for this part and for the other side again 95 centimeter so if you select it and go to its setting you need to change the extension style to wall for both beginning and the end and enter the same number for this part and also for here in classic railing and overall in classic design you need to add details as much as possible for example if you want to make this part better you can fillet these corners and add extra details extra curves to your bolster and also you can add some other railings for example to this base for this you just need to select your railing and go to edit type and in this rail structure you can simply insert a new rail change your profile to this family and change the height to the thickness of your profile it was i think four centimeter for us right 
now okay and okay it's a little bit small for this part so if you want you can create another one or simply save this as another rail make it a little bit more than that so it can fit for this part perfectly so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye